video is brought to you by Andy Gone Nuts. 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876-309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mmm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471. Hello everyone. My name is Simon Preston, and welcome to Reggae Boys Commentary. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video on this channel. Really, really appreciate it. So what we're going to do in this video is break down the delegation that has been announced by the Jamaica Football Federation for the Reggae Girls ahead of their two matches in South Korea coming up in September. So let's be clear. On September 3rd will be the official friendly international against South Korea. And September 6th will be the training game. So, without further ado, let us have a look at the delegation that has been sent to go for the game. Let's do that, shall we? And we're going to start right now with the non-playing officials. So, Ewan Scott is the head of delegation. Lauren Donaldson, head coach. Lakani Akash, assistant coach. Xavier Gilbert, assistant coach, Alyssa Whitehead, goalkeeper coach, William Hitzelberger, high performance director, Jason Henry, physical trainer, Dr. Jillian Lawrence, team doctor, Devin Lawson, masseur, Omar Folks, equipment manager, Laurie Thomas, scout, assistant coach, Crystal Waters, team manager, and Sandria Codling, the physiotherapist. Now we're going to get into the player side of things and we're going to look at 23 names right here the 23 names that will be and some of them have arrived in south korea right now with just a few players left to arrive within the asian country so sydney schneider yasmin jameson chantel swaby allison swaby denisha blackwood chinyelo asher vian samson drew spence olofala shade adamalekan or shade adamalekan trudy carter tiffany cameron khadijah shaw Tierney Wiltshire, Atlanta Primus, Maria Gray, Kayla McCoy, Marlo Sweatman, Shania Hales, Giselle Washington, Cameron Simmons, Leah Brooks, Sylvan Wilson, and Malia Atkins. Of the 23 players that are going to South Korea, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12 players that were part of the World Cup squad. 12 that were part of the World Cup squad. Now, Kayla McCoy was part of the World Cup squad, but she was replaced by Maria Gray at the last minute due to injury. So that was the adjustment there. I know you guys are saying, well, where is Jody Brown? Where is Kiki Van Zanten? Well, the situation there is that they can't be released from their colleges. Rebecca Spencer is still in preseason with Tottenham. And of course, she's not in season form right now. While Sidney Schneider and Yasmin Jameson are players that are in season right now. So it makes sense that they get the opportunities to play, right? So that's basically the situation where those are. Malia Atkins, we know her from the CONCACAF Youth Championship earlier this year in the Dominican Republic. Absolutely great player. Mia Mitchell, she spoke very, very highly about Malia. And Mali Atkins, as a defender, has the ability to fit into that role well and can, can essentially be that individual that can replace or be an understudy to the likes of Chantal Swaby, Alison Swaby, Kanya Plummer when she's back, Vian Sampson. So that's something for us to consider. And if she's back in the, in the grand scheme of things as well, you would also 
have another player within in the mix in terms of a defensive side of things that that could have an impact on this Jamaican team. But we'll touch on that quite quite shortly. But one thing that can be said though is that this this team, this Jamaican team, is a quality unit. Christina is going to South Korea is going there to win. Like I said, I would give this squad a nine out of ten. I think it's nine and a half out of ten. I think I said. I think it's quite fair balance. I don't have any qualms with it, to be honest with you. And in terms of the player that I was talking about from the defensive side of things that I think could be back in the squad eventually, maybe, uh, in terms of adding squad depth, would be Alika Keen. But going back to what I was saying in terms of the squad, the reason why I don't have any qualms is that there is depth in every single option. If there is a player or players that I would say, well, where are they, where is she... It would be extremely harsh to do that. It would be extremely harsh to do that at this point in time. But the only thing I would say is that Mia Mitchell has just returned to the pitch, so it would be hard to see her get a national debut right now. But Mia Mitchell, for me, is somebody that deserves an opportunity moving forward. Wilson, she deserves her place as well. Leah Brooks as a goalkeeper, definitely Cameron Simmons. She impressed at the CONCACAF Under-20 Championship. She said Washington, so glad she's back after three years being out. Marla Sweatman deserves this opportunity quite well. Kayla McCoy banging in those goals, left, right, and center. Mary, Maria Gray, for me, I think she has to prove that she deserves to be in the squad consistently and not in and out, in and out, in and out. So that is for her to go and deliver. Atlanta Primus, we saw some good performances from her at the Conquer of W Championship in Mexico quite recently. Tierney, perhaps the most improved reggae girl of 2022. Bonnie, we know what she can offer. Tiffany Cameron, Jamaica's, uh, Jamaica's top scorer in club football in 2022. Men and women combined. Trudy Carter, it'll be interesting to see if she'll play in that number 10 position or part of a front three. Shade Damalekan, mercurial talent, future captain. Drew Spence, midfield general. Vian Sampson, we know in the defense what she offers. I like her in that centre-half position, even though she can operate uh, on the wider areas if, if needs be. Chinielo Asho, she's better than Messi, enough said. Denden, at left-back, it speaks for itself right there. Alison Swaby, Chantel Swaby is the Twin Towers in defense. And the two goalkeepers in Sidney Schneider and Yasmin Jameson. They add quality right right there. But reggae boys, reggae girls fans, Jamaican football fans, what are your thoughts? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below about this squad, your thoughts about it, the quality. And don't forget as well to subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary for more content. This video is brought to you by Andy Gone Nuts. 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876 876- 309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471.